if the news only write about good things. Then there's no news. Yeah, there are All of us were yeah. boring lives, guys. Yeah. Yeah. And then these know. comments here, you know, they say that uh, Melissa should open a OnlyFans account. Oh, really? Yeah, what do you have to say oh, about this so to such flattered. people that so comment uh, that they want to see your OnlyFans? Uh, I still need a hamster OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's a hamster still gonna get an OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome to yet another episode of the Singaplex After Hours Podcast. And today we have none other than Melissa Faith Yo. Hello. XFHM Top Hot Hot List, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then, and uh, of course, uh, was used to be an actress. I didn't want to disturb you, really. Why did you? And then now, uh, um, a thriving property agent. And- Today we are going to talk about her transition from the media industry to real estate, right? So, um, what's the media industry like in Singapore, Melissa? Because I, I, I know that you know many uh, young people nowadays, they, they, they try to um, get into the media. To put it in a nutshell, it all comes down to the market. There's only one TV station. Set music play. <laughs> you gotta and ask yourself if it's worth it when you were younger why did you feel it was worth it to, to at least try kind of knew that it was gonna be a gamble mm. you know in terms of your finances you never know until you try so you don't want to live a life where you're like oh what if I did that instead yeah. and what was the point that um, led you to say that okay it's it's time to work on on something else right? this is too much drama for me I don't know to do something else. After a few years of trying to tread water, I got tired. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I knew to put food on the table. I saw that another actor was doing property as well. Because, okay, acting is my passion. Oh, the, the other actor well. also had to do property? Yes, yeah, so he so did So he was an established and, actor? Yes. And yes. he still had to sell property? Really? Really? Okay, <laughs> alright. So, yeah. okay, guys, aspiring actors and actresses, bad news, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, he's very established. So, he is a, like a thriving working actor. Oh, and use real estate to top up. Yeah. Um, I could be like him, you know, okay, do yeah. acting and then property part time. To, to fuel the passion. Yes. Yeah, okay. And then in the end, I went full time into property because I saw like how. Ferraris. <laughs> 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 okay, okay, this clip, I, I, I also have a real estate license, that's why I can afford to do this podcast, and that's how I know Melissa. I saw, like, okay, how my hard work paid off. All right, all right. As compared to what? In modeling and acting, right? Like, ah, okay, modeling was okay because the advertisements were good. Yeah, advertisements good was good. Okay, so, so the main yeah. money in, in modeling and acting is in the, the branded commercials. Mm. Okay, okay. Yes, yes. And then, um, Acting didn't pay as well. Mm. Yeah, but I just kept hustling. You know, okay. I, I did like blogging, modeling, acting. Uh, did, did like acting help your transition to real estate? Because, you know, always in front of the camera and then real estate is a very people-driven business, right? Oh, no, actually, I'm very introverted. <laughs> really? <laughs> find it hard to believe. <laughs> <laughs> the SM is tough, right? It is so yeah, tough. Yeah, it's, it's, it yeah. is so tough. I remember my trainer, right? He was saying... Um, this is okay. Uh, he said that all the questions will have correct answers. You have to choose all the, answers, yeah, all right? the questions. Have yeah. correct answers. You got to choose the most correct one. In in all your your time selling houses, what are mm. some of the weirdest kind of uh, houses you've ever sold? Oh my god! Yes. What? <laughs> Talk about this. I don't know. I don't want to scare really. The first HDB that I marketed. Um, because as a new agent, right, sometimes we help like uh, other agents market their properties so that it will catch more um, eyeballs, right? Mm, mm. Mm. So I went down for a viewing one day. Like my first viewing is so happy. I went down one day and then I went to the flat and uh, just looked like a normal HDB three room lot to me. Um, so after that, had ch- had a chat with the buyer and then we left and um, I thought things were normal. Then the buyer actually mentioned something that I kind of shrugged off. But yeah. other people started calling me. Um, of course, like, you know, they see my ad, they start calling me, right? Yeah. And then uh, they asked like, 
oh, um, is it this facing? Is it facing the garden? Is it um, at the end? Like, like how do you know this house? Is this house like, famous? Yeah, is it? Am I supposed to know what this house is? <laughs> yeah. And and because at first I thought like, oh, that person wants to know whether the, you got West Sun or yeah, not. Yeah, 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 that's the common one, right? West yeah. Sun. But why do they all have such good knowledge of this house? Yeah, is it on the seventh floor? I'm like, oh, they even know the floor. They've, they've been there. Yeah, so finally, a co broke broke it to me. She said, "Uh, remember last time in the 1980s there was this child murderer called Adrian Lim. That was his house. God, I was like, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it. Oh, well, when yeah, I went yeah, yeah. there, everything felt normal. Everything felt normal. There was then no again, I'm not normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah correct. So everything felt normal till, till, till the like people started telling you the the backstory of this listing. <laughs> yeah. So the I think the listing agent, she got to know about this also, and she gave it up. Oh, yeah, okay, because right. I I called her, so I was like, "Hey, do you know? <laughs> Maybe you should know, but it's up to you if you want to carry on doing this property." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Buyer beware. Buy <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, mm, however, however, um, I did some research on that property. Obviously, right <laughs> after that Adrian Lim scandal. HDB actually impounded the unit, obviously. Oh, okay, right. right, right. Yeah, I mean, like, he, they had to take it away from him. Yes, yes. And then he went to jail for a while. So it was on the market for very, very long. Because obviously, of nobody course. wanted <laughs> it. Yeah. But uh, a non superstitious Catholic family actually moved in. See, Born there are house. good Catholics in the world, <laughs> not just those that touch children. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, so. Um, they moved in and according to the owner, you can Google it, uh, they actually strike 4D. So you see, there's, there's, this, there's this like Asian thing about like, um, like where the cemetery and where like, like people have died. Uh, mm. the, the, if you trace back in the history of Singapore, right, actually those places have appreciated in value. Like, uh, yeah. what Bishan, was that? Bishan, right? Used Bidadari. to be a cemetery. Bidadari, yeah. right? Used yeah. to be a, uh, they literally had to excavate the the cemetery, mm. right? And then now it was it's so beautiful though that cemetery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and now it's uh one of the most expensive places to buy HDBs. Yeah. There was a record, I think record price BTO launch and and very oversubscribed, right? Oh. And like that Bidadari oh, plot, yeah, 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 correct, right? When yeah. people were balloting and they could a lot mm. of people couldn't get right. Yeah. Congratulations mm. to all of those who stay above the Bidadari cemetery now. Uh, a lot of blessings from the good spirits. No, what's the kind of mindset someone would need to like thrive in this trade? Oh, um, perseverance. Perseverance. Yeah, and transparency. Transparency. Yeah. Auntie, this house uh, may not go to the moon. <laughs> right, yeah, 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 yeah. So real estate is even better than only fans. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Cause I, I read on the internet these know. comments here, you know, they say that uh Melissa should open a OnlyFans account. Oh, say about to, I'm to so such flattered. people that so comment flattered. that they want to see your OnlyFans. They say now is the time. <laughs> because now there's a lot of internet buzz, right? right? Oh, I'm so flattered that they that they think that I can still like uh qualify. Right, yeah, for qualify. <laughs> Some FHM top. <laughs> 10 hottest, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 not top 10. Uh. Not top 10, right, right. Some top 100. obscure number. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, so many uh, influencers, they, now they're doing OnlyFans, right? Mm. So so do you think, um, you know, in Singapore, there's still that sort of like stigma? Well, what are your thoughts um, regarding this whole uh, scene? Well, I feel like... Um, you know, if people want to do an OnlyFans account yes. or to talk about their bodies, yes. it's up to them. Huh? Just do it to the most of your ability. Yeah, I, I feel like um, I'm actually quite in awe of those people who do OnlyFans. Yeah. Like, I mean, okay, let's say if their content is the more explicit sort, right? Yeah, yeah, correct, correct. Like, wow, it takes a lot to put yourself person out there. Yeah. Some yeah, they can't even see the person's balls. Hey, you know, like people driving Ferraris and here I am trying to just do a podcast. Yeah, do you do you not hear the the the, the cash me outside girl in the US is living in a mansion? Oh. No, that, that this girl that her meme was like she was on I think Dr. Okay. Phil or something, you know. Oh. Yeah. She's living in a mansion now. And Good uh, for her. 
And some local only fans are uh, influencer. They are titans, right? Striving and Lambo. I really admire these people because they are obviously so comfortable in their own yeah. skin. And wow. <laughs> yeah, so you know. Wow, only fans. Let's just go give that some thought to all the people <laughs> out there that are waiting for the only fans. <laughs> Yeah. Don't believe it. Yeah, don't believe it. Right, right, right. <laughs> um, you know, um, the other another sensitive topic that's going on, on the internet is that mm. uh, there's this like woman hating on other women kind of thing. Mm. You know, so like, why do other women hate hate on you? Well, you gotta ask them. You just gotta, gotta ask them. Gotta ask them. Yeah, I, I, I cannot uh explain internalized misogyny. Um. Yeah, you just got to... I think these people need to seek professional help. They need Jesus. <laughs> or Catholic priest. Uh, speaking of Catholic... <laughs> yeah, I, I saw one of your TikToks. I like how you I saw one of your TikToks is talking about some like mm. early Catholic church experiences, right? So why why is the Catholic church always in the news, Melissa? Especially for the naughty, naughty thing. If the news only write about good things, then there's no news. Yeah, they're all of us who have boring lives, guys. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. need to sell, right? They need to sell more they need to clicks, sell right? Their content, yeah, yeah. their clicks, um, to their advertisers, especially. But yeah, otherwise, why? Why is it always a s- just you only see like what, one or two angles, mm. right? About the Catholic Church in the yeah, media. Yeah, right? yeah the know. Catholic Church still does does lots of good things. And uh, of, course. of course, all religions do good things. I'm not going to hate on any religion, but yeah. we like spicy headlines. <laughs> <laughs> and um, recently, there was, uh, you, you did a TikTok whereby there was like, some controversy between you and your roommate, right? So do you want to share a bit of, of that as well? It's <laughs> <laughs> a hamster. Your roommate is a hamster. In all seriousness, <clears throat> uh, who wants to see Melissa's hamsters own face? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Leave my hamster alone. That'd be, that'd be great, right? The world's first million dollar influencer hamster. I think there is some potential there, Melissa. You might want to, <laughs> to do that. We, we could release some NFTs together. I, I love how you find great. potentials in every yeah. situation. I like to see the good in everyone. Yay, including the hamsters. <laughs> so, Mel, mm-hmm. the internet needs to know right, the recent drama. Right. So you got a mothership, right? right. <laughs> All from just one TikTok. Mm. So what's up with that? You know, this you post a TikTok and then suddenly there's this whole hoo-ha and like how did that begin? Uh okay, I was actually talking about like um on my Instagram stories I was talking about this housewarming party that okay. went wrong. <laughs> Okay. As I think if you read my captions for the part one and part two video. It's one of the um, long ones, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean like okay, so I did that part one and people are asking for part two, so I, I, I told them, Oh sorry, there's no part two, but okay, yeah. yeah, so that was what happened and then um anyway this was because of <laughs> I started talking about it because of a housewarming party that it went wrong. Sideways. There were a lot of Tea spilled along the way via the contacts. Oh, I so, see. Yeah. Um, however, you know, I I was also getting a lot of questions right. from my followers, like, oh, um, when are you get- going back to acting? Like, why, why so haven't it's you? It's all about acting? like, why are you not going back to acting? That's the main yeah. premise. Yeah, like, what happened how, to how you? How this came about, right? Yeah, what, okay, what happened okay. to you and all that? So. I thought like I I shared my side of the story. Okay. Yeah, yeah. like my experience, and that was a real experience that I went through when okay. I decided that after a while, and you know, upon seeing some patterns, I decided to go into property. Uh, I still need a hamster only. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the hamster. Yeah, her hamster still gonna get her only fans. <laughs> right, watch out for that soon. <laughs> right, and then and why why uh. Why suddenly, uh, based on one TikTok, there's like an uh, article on the internet? I guess it's a slow news day. Uh. It's a slow news day. I guess day. it's a slow news day. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, okay, look. Um, the media, the press, as you know, will sen- sensationalize things. Based off one TikTok. Right. <laughs> okay, and then... To sell clicks, right? Yeah. And yeah. Then, uh, okay, I see, I see. I'm just... 
disappointed that they didn't talk about the the one that has the most views. Oh, which because is? even the Philippine the Philippines picked that up. Um, the Philippines pick that up. Yeah. Fifty yeah, percent, yeah. more than fifty percent of my viewership was from the Philippines. But we mean the Catholic one about the naughty naughty Catholics touching people. Right. <laughs> yeah, something like that, right? Yeah. Yeah. So um I mean let, let's not let's not pinpoint one religion. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's like of course. The and all religions have problems. <laughs> <laughs> it's the people, the the, the, yeah, the people, that, yeah, yeah, right. that you know, create these trouble this this trouble and I think you asked me earlier, like why is it like in church we get so much yes, um correct. so many of these kind of cases? Um so my friend and I were talking about it the other day and it's not just because, you know, uh church that's why but also because you know in <clears throat> in church right it's easy if you're of a if you're a person of authority mm. right like in school so this happens in schools as well okay, if you're a okay. person of authority it's very easy for you to you know um abuse it mm, I, yeah. see, I see i see okay okay <clears throat> so um Maybe the lesson here is uh, with great power comes great responsibility. Whether you're posting a TikTok, writing an article on mothership, or doing a podcast. Uh, there are only two camps, right? The haters and the lovers, right? So what do you have to say for the haters and what do you have to say for your fans and people that actually follow you? Oh, um... I have no words for the haters. <laughs> no words for the haters. They don't even deserve any words. Yeah. No time for that. No time Too for Too busy that. selling yeah. property. <laughs> breaking the bucks. Right? My money don't jiggle jiggle. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. And then for, for the fans that have followed you since your FHM days. Hamster only fans coming soon, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, thank you so much. I mean, like, the encouragement is just like... It's very... And of course, buy more property. Right, right, right. No, I'll buy whatever you can afford. Yes, wise words mm-hmm. from Melissa, <laughs> whose hamster is about to have an OnlyFans <laughs> uh, with us very soon. And well, uh, Melissa, thanks for being on this podcast. Thank you. It's been uh, great uh, having you here. Mm-hmm. And till next time, remember to like and subscribe if you've uh, seen uh, content you like and we try our best here at Singaplex, our humble YouTube channel. Uh, For the memes, we're on Facebook and Instagram. Peace, over and out.